back where you started. What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be doing a trick tip video and I've been requested to do this trick tip for a while now and now that I have a perfect flat bar, uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the backside of people grind. So I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step movements you need to do rolling up to the flat bar while you're going to be on it and getting off of it. And I'm also going to be showing you some things that can go wrong while you're trying to do the trick. So uh, I'm just going to get right into it and start right from the beginning and show you what you need to do. Now there's going to be a couple things you're going to need before you learn the feeble grind. And that would be one skateboard, a bag of wax, a calculator, old spice deodorant, shoelaces, post-it notes, Febreze air effects, a highlighter, and last but not least, an umbrella. Alright, now that you got all your supplies ready, uh, you're ready to start doing the trick. First thing you're going to learn how to do is uh, backside board slide. So after you have a solid backside board slide down, you're pretty much ready to try a backside feeble grind, but you're really just going to want to make sure you have a proper ollie down before you do anything else because if you try just putting it on the really quick, you're going to get caught on the back truck like this. So key thing to do is when you're doing a backside feeble grind is when you pop you're going to be at a slight angle and you're just going to be leaning back the whole time and when your back truck gets on you're going to want to make sure your shoulders are par parallel on the rail as you're sliding through the whole thing a key to when you're doing this trick is to always land for goofy skaters it would be on the back right side of the truck and for regular skaters regular skaters it would be on the back left side of the truck Now, the reason why you want to land on that little pocket area right in the truck right here is because if you lean, if you're trying a feeble grind, you lean too far this way, you're just going to be leaning too far forward and it's going to shoot you forward. Check out this comparison of the two feebles. The one on the left side I landed on the wrong part of the truck which made me fall forward. The photo on the right side was the one that I landed on the correct part of the truck which made me be able to do the trick correctly. So as you're doing the backside feeble grind, you're going to stay with your parallel straight like this and just let it sit back and grind all the way through up until you get to the end. Now naturally, the board's just going to come off like this, just kind of like how the backside board slide did, except you're going to want to lift up slightly on the tail so that it evens out and you don't want to land free up like that. Alright, now I'm just going to reiterate the process of everything you need to do to execute the backside feeble grind. Step one, roll up at a very, very slight angle. Step two, pop your board, lean back, and aim for the pocket. Step three, when you're on the rail, make sure you're, again, locked in the pocket and your shoulders are parallel with the rail, so that way you don't have any turning over or turning out. That'll cause you to go into a backside board slide. Step four, continue to keep your shoulders parallel. Step four, continue to keep your shoulders parallel until the rail ends, lift up, and then just roll out. Oh, and lastly, one very, very important key factor that I completely forgot to mention is you already know that you need to lean into this pocket when you get into it, leaning back and keeping your shoulders parallel, but you need to put a ton of pressure on your back foot while you're leaning back. That is the key factor when doing this trick, because if you keep it on, it's the easiest way to just hold it out and just let it ride throughout the entire flatbore or whatever the distance is of the object you're trying to grind. Boom! So that was the backside people tutorial. I hope you guys like this. I haven't really done a trick tip in a long time and I this was requested a lot during the period that I did upload uh, some trick tips. So I hope for the people that got to see this video were the ones who asked a long time ago and they're subscribed to me. But um, if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below for the next trick tip you guys want to see me do. I kind of enjoyed making this and it was kind of fun just doing one trick that I don't have to stress out about that often. So um, yeah, definitely leave suggestions in the comment section below. And I think I'm done. I think I've done everything I wanted to do. My GoPro okay? You guys, you know what you want me to do in this video? I should try tray flipping that gap again, shouldn't I? You know what? No, you know what? I'm gonna do it first try, right here. 
All right. Hopefully that's good enough because I'm not trekking. First try. <laughs> 